<laughs> way, way. The jawbone. What was that little co- okay. comment over there? Many dentists won't treat people who are taking the drug Fosamax or other bisphosphonate drugs because there's a, that's another reason to avoid these drugs. Why? Because they've been shown to cause deterioration of your bone density, deterioration of your jawbone, and other bone factors in your body. Right, it's a actually new study. the jawbone necrosis, the death of the mm-hmm. tissue in the bone. It can cause terrible pain yeah. and neurological damage, and too. And is the FDA taking this drug off the market? No. It's category of drugs. Okay. Category. A new study shows that Fosamax can dramatically increase your chances of getting atrial fibrillation. Right. Atrial fibrillation is a worrisome, irregular heartbeat, and the increase in risk isn't small. The drug increases your risk of atrial fibri- fibrillation by... 86%. Wow. Let's take a breath there. 86% so greater risk of getting atrial fibrillation, irregular heartbeat, which then leads to all kinds of other drugs. Heart attack and, and heart drugs or death. That's right. Okay. Serious heart conditions. And who, who are the cloudy category of people that are getting these drugs? It's the elderly. Uh-huh. All right? right. It's the older people. And are they at the most at risk for different heart events? But of course. And here you're fostering a heart event. Is Are any one of them told this? Uh-uh. No. No. We need to build your bone. Here, take this drug. Are they told this? That, by the way, we're increasing your risk of, of atrial fibrillation, serious heart uh, irregularity of beating uh, with taking this clatter category of medications. And here again goes on to say, um, since Fosamax is a long-term drug, it's anyone who takes this drug will eventually have heart problems. But the situation gets even worse, the article says. To protect you from atrial fibrillation, your doctor will likely have you take Coumadin. That's what I was getting at just a moment ago. I see. Have, have you take Coumadin, which is a rat poison. Coumadin thins your blood, of course, but it also promotes osteoporosis. Right. And so you get a <laughs> double whammy here. You're taking an osteoporosis drug, which causes atrial fibrillation, so the doctor gives you... Coumadin, which causes osteoporosis. Okay, and, and now Coumadin. Uh, that, when this you is said, such a sad story. It really is. And Coumadin originally, I think where they first uh, identified the element, was in rat poison. They, it's, it's not from when, that's why I know, I understand, yeah. but I'm, I'm just saying. And so it's kind of the humorous twist that you've said by calling it rat poison. Yeah. But also, we could, in our commentary and opinion, it is a kind of, it's a poison for anyone. A- and uh, it has serious side effects when, if they were using instead, you can't use them concurrently. Mm-hmm. If instead of using these blood thinning toxic medications, you were using the super pure omega 3 from fish oils and you were taking the right dosage of that along with natural vitamin E, the alpha tocopherol, mm-hmm. then you would you have your, your blood flowing beautifully, preventing ir- uh, uh, irregular, irregular clotting. clotting. And just like one of the doctors, I believe it was Jonathan Wright, said, we, re- we quoted on one of the shows, it's, it gives a real lube job to those platelets so they don't clot. 